How do you turn a regular old Hasbro Star Wars The Black Series Emperor Palpatine into a Darth Sidious? Let's talk about it. Greetings, toy heads, and welcome to another episode of Go Figure with me, your host, Eli Williams, here on the Digitally Rebastard Network, the action figure show about news, reviews, collecting tips, customizations, kit bashing, everything that goes into this fun, nerdy hobby that you and I both love. And in this special episode, we're going to be doing a customization conversion of this original Hasbro Star Wars The Black Series Emperor Palpatine into an Episode 3 Darth Sidious. It's a figure that a lot of people have been clamoring for and wanting, but Hasbro has yet to make it. So I, um, about uh, a week and a half ago, two weeks ago, pop, probably more accurately, um, I saw this because now the former um, original Emperor Palpatine uh, figure on the Black Series has dropped drastically in price because of the new Archive uh, series, which is a repackage from the Amazon exclusive Throne Room Emperor. Um, so it does actually have the cloth um, bottom skirt part of the robe. Um, these have just dropped in price. And I found a loose one with no cane, you know, no nut, just the figure. It was like 15 bucks or something like that. And I thought to myself, oh my gosh. Uh, on on eBay, I, I, I found it, and I, I thought, oh my gosh, I can I can do a custom on this and turn it into a Episode 3 Darth Sidious. And what I did was, I got two items. Um, first item is this. Uh, I got this custom uh, wired robe from Josh's Custom Capes on Etsy, which you will see right here. Um, Josh's Custom Capes is a place that I've gotten a lot of cloth goods stuff from, and uh, they do really, really fine work. Um, they have a, a variable plethora of different options for not only Star Wars The Black Series, but uh, also a little Marvel Legends, um, or just really anything that you want to do, because uh, customization on action figures and kit bashing and everything like that is is uh, kind of an open sandbox, if you will. And then um, I got a custom 3D printed uh, lightsaber that is uh, Palpatine's lightsaber from Episode 3. Um, this came from Replacement Sabers on eBay, which you will see right here. Um, they have... a a whole lot of hilts to choose from. Um, the one I got is acrylic. You have to kind of ask them nicely in the um, in the message section of your purchase if they would make it acrylic, and uh, then it will be acrylic like this one. Um, I th they do come just the regular gray. Um, I did paint this. Um, I gave it the little the gold around here, and then the gold on the end. Uh, it's a done and can't really see it too well on this camera, but it's a two-tone silver. I went over it with the chrome pen. I put the red button, uh, red light up button on this side, and the green light up button on this side. Um, but it does have the gold uh, pommel on there, and then the uh, gold where the emitter is. Um, so I I went through many many pictures on uh, Google, and um, and by using all of there's a hair on there. Uh, by using the um, by using the uh, images on Google um, from multi angles, uh, I I managed to uh, get a paint job done on that, and then that has the red acrylic uh, blade on it. So uh, let's dig in here. Um, let me get in here a little closer. Um, we need to pop his robe off. <clears throat> now, this is a double-edged sword because I have the uh, Foosh Toys um, skeleton, uh, 1 12th scale skeleton coming here. It should be re releasing, I would imagine, sometime this month. Um, and um, I will be able to reuse this robe 
to uh, turn him into like a Grim Reaper. Um, so this is kind of nice. Um, I can reuse this. So there we go. That's actually the first time I've ever had the robe off of him, and that's what he looks like without the robe. Just an old guy. Just a, hey, kids, get off my lawn. Um, so let's, uh, let's put him in this robe. Um, this is going to be a chore. I don't know exactly how I'm going to get... Uh, let's, let's see. Let's bend his arms upward. And I should be able to run him right up into this. Okay, there we go. And then get his arms... Getting his arms in the sleeves are going to be the major issue here. But it shouldn't be that big of a chore. Um, okay. All right. If somebody would have told me 10 years ago, like, someday on YouTube, you're going to be dressing Emperor Palpatine, I would have been like, you are nuts. Here we are. All right. <clears throat> okay. Let me get his head through that hole. And uh, there we go. <clears throat> and kind of flatten that out. And get this closed somewhat. And uh, the, the uh, area around the hood is wired. So we will kind of mash that down a little bit. And... Uh, Okay, and then let's get his saber in his hand. And we need to get his finger on that red button. There we go. Actually lays very well. There we go. Hello, my green little friend. That scene from uh, episode three when Yoda walks in and he's sitting in his desk. And he's just like, oh, Yoda, you couldn't have come at a worse time. I have all this paperwork to do. Um, this should be a part a little bit to show that black. But there we go. <clears throat> Just a few simple steps. Uh, here, let me grab. Let me grab my Yoda. There we go. Well, that worked out quite nice. Um, yeah, Josh's custom capes and replacement sabers make good stuff. Um, I use them all the time. Um, just about every single one of my Boba Fett's has a, a Josh's custom cape um, uh, shoulder cape on him. And um, get Yoda out of the way here. But now I've got a uh, I've got a Darth Sidious to put up next to my uh, lonely Yoda, who hasn't had anybody to fight him. Uh, in some time, but, uh, yeah. So there you go. If you want to, uh, if you want to make yourself a, an episode three Darth Sidious, um, they have a few options, um, on there. I think he's got like four different cloaks. So you have, uh, I think he's got the, the, um, he has the regular, um, Return of the Jedi robe, and then he has uh, two different Episode 3 uh, robes, or it's like maybe it's Episode 2 and Episode 3. Um, there's, a <clears throat> there's a brown one, and then one that is slightly darker. And then there is the uh, Rise of Skywalker, uh, unfortunately. Uh, the red and black robe, um, which looks cool, but I didn't want it because I don't really want... I don't want sequel figures. The only sequel figures I have... Um, are 
the Luke, Leia, Han, and Chewie. Those are the only, because to me, those are the only ones worth having because those movies stunk. So, <clears throat> but there you go. If you want to get yourself a Darth Sidious, custom Darth Sidious, you find you a, a Palpatine on the cheap or just, you know, buy the archive one because they're still relatively um, market price right now. Uh, go to Josh's Custom Capes, get you a uh, an Episode 3 robe or whichever one you want, and uh, go to Replacement Sabers on eBay and uh, get you a Palpatine uh, 3D printed saber. And boom, there you go. So uh, thank you guys for watching. That'll do it for this episode. Um, remember to like, comment, subscribe. Curse smash that bell so you can get information on all the good things coming out of the Digitally Rebastard Network, as well as join us on Twitter, Discord, and my TikTok by clicking those links in the bottom right-hand corner of the banner on our channel page. Become part of the DRN family. We will welcome you with open arms. You've been watching Go Figure with me, your host, Eli Williams, here on the Digitally Rebastard Network. You all have a great week and a great day. I'll see you next time, and until then, don't forget to get your figure on. Take care.